Hello everyone, welcome to Uncle Iroh's Tea Shop. In today's video, we are going to discuss the news that broke out of CinemaCon 2024 around the new animated Avatar movie focusing on the adult versions of our main group of characters that we have known from the original cartoon. We got the villain reveal and also a few other announcements as far as the cast goes, so we are going to break it all down here today. Grab some jasmine tea, take a seat, and I hope you enjoy the video. If you are looking forward to this new animated movie, give this video a like and drop your comments down below on how you take this news as we run through it. Jumping into it, so this week there was the yearly CinemaCon event where studios go to showcase the projects that they are working on for movie theater owners and distributors to look at. One of these studios that was present there is Paramount Pictures, and under their name is Nickelodeon Studios and Avatar Studios, and they were able to present some new information about what they've got coming up in the world of Avatar. We have known that this animated adult movie has been in production for a long time now since Avatar Studios was first established back in 2021, which I'll say is crazy to think that it's been that long. One of their projects was around making this movie and we got some news to talk about around it here. Let's talk about the casting as that was something that was prominent in this feature for the studio at the presentation. It was announced that singer and songwriter Eric Nam is going to be voicing adult Aang in the movie. I'll be totally upfront with you all on this, I have no idea who this person is. He's got a large following online from his profession as far as being a singer, but this seemingly looks like it could be one of his first voice acting roles, and so I'm very curious to see what the play is here from Avatar Studios and casting him as the main guy of the show. He's obviously not the original voice actor who voiced the kid version in the cartoon, so I'd have to hear how he speaks to really get a sense of what he's going for. The other big casting announcement, which I personally really love, is the fact that they announced who's going to be voicing the villain in this movie, and that is my man Dave Batista, WWE wrestler now turned actor and also voice actor as well, as he's been doing some voice acting work recently in the past couple of years. I think this is a great choice to voice a villain, and I think he is going to nail it, since for me, I think he's been the best actor that's come out of the wrestling industry. They don't give any details to the kind of villain that he is, only that he's just been cast. Thankfully, this still means that he could could potentially play Combustion Man in the Netflix adaptation as a cool fan casting since that character doesn't actually speak, so I won't give my hopes up about that. On top of this Inside of the Variety article of which I will link in the description where I get all my information from, they are both joining other cast members who have been supposedly announced in the film. Diane Kwan is voicing Toph, Jessica Mayton is voicing Katara, and Roman Zaragoza is voicing Sokka. One of the cast members that is returning is Dante Bosco, who everybody knows is the original voice actor for Zuko. I'm really glad that they are bringing him back, and overall, again, I look forward to seeing what the other voice acting cast are going to bring to this movie from an adult perspective. I should also mention that there are some rumors that the full casting list here is not fully, fully confirmed, but some of these names have been floating around, specifically in the variety the article, as possibly as others that would accompany the two cast members that I did list off at the top of the video that are confirmed, so I'm just letting you all know that right now. We get two other pieces of information to go off with regards to the fact that they also gave the movie a title and a rumor release date. The title of the movie is going to be called Aang the Last Airbender, and again, you guys know I'm very honest about everything I speak about, and I'll say this, I do not like the title. I think it comes off as being a little derivative and safe from the perspective of me not being sure as to why this would be the title that they go with, I feel like there are definitely better titles that could be made, and for all we know, this could change in the future. I mean, just go over and look at James Gunn's DCU. He ended up changing the name of his Superman movie from Superman Legacy to just Superman, so anything can still happen, but here again, I'm not exactly sure I'm a fan of that title for the film. With regards to the release date for the movie, the Variety article listed that the animated film is set to release on October 10th, 2024. Although, I will say, I've been hearing some things that there is no confirmed release date yet, and that that actually wasn't fully announced at the presentation. My best hope is that it does come out in 2025, given at this point, if they were pushing to 2026, 
I would really, really be questioning what Avatar Studios has been doing for the last five years, not getting a single project out. I don't know if there is any confliction with the Netflix show that's preventing them from doing it, and so at this point, who really knows? I just really want this to come out now. I can't imagine what the experience would be like to watch an animated Avatar movie in theaters, and not in any way, shape, or form like the other movie that we all got all those years ago that we will not speak about here on this channel. Right now, though, that is all that we really have to discuss in terms of this project and its CinemaCon announcement, and this is also something new for me with regards to the channel because I pretty much have not talked about anything else that's not the Netflix adaptation of Avatar The Last Airbender. As I mentioned in my last video that I uploaded, I want to venture off into other areas of Avatar, and this is one of those areas, so I look forward to whatever else they announce with regards to this project in the future. With that being said, I'm going to close off the video here by telling you all to please comment down below your thoughts on this news and my commentary on it. If you did enjoy the video and you like this news, be sure to give this video a like and let's see if we can hit a goal of 200 on this video. If you are new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell to be updated for when I upload in the future. Thank you all for stopping by Uncle Iroh's Tea Shop. On your way out, be sure to let him know how much you appreciated his jasmine tea and his words of wisdom that come with it. I hope everyone here has a wonderful rest of the day, and I will see you all soon for more Avatar.